It's that time again. That time in late spring that fly fishermen cherish the most. Those few weeks where even big fish are rising so frequently that every cast can catch you that trophy trout on a dry fly. At least that is how we tend to remember it while tying flies on a cold winter's day. Our minds filled with memories of that perfect trout caught in the mayfly season. Red River Stole my heart again Red River You stole my soul again Set it in the sun It's basking You warm the cliffs and stone You deliver Life to these dried up bones Islands in the fog They're basking in the moon Your waters flow Down the Gulf of Mexico The Appalachian Through the whole damn southern nation You take it slow Just enough to let the snow go Melt below the mountain Oftentimes, however, reality isn't able to live up to our expectations. And we are not sure anymore if that time of times is really a blessing or rather a curse. Quite different thoughts start creeping into our minds. Why aren't there any rises but hundreds of flies? Do I have the right pattern? Should I twitch the fly or just leave it? And why on earth should the fish pick my imitation among thousands of real flies? The Appalachian Through the whole damn southern nation But all these thoughts disappear once a trout has taken your mayfly and all the pieces fall into place. Suddenly, mayfly season is indeed worth looking forward to, even though, or maybe because, you realize that it can be both a blessing and a curse. Your flow down the Gulf of Mexico The Appalachian Through the whole damn southern nation You take it slow Just enough to let the snow